Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching, we're in Statics and we're going to do problem 4.97 of our book, okay? It says replace a force system by an equivalent resultant force and a couple moment at point O, okay? So we've got these two forces, 600 newtons going down and to the right and then we've got these 455 newtons that is described by a similar triangle, okay? So if we want to find our resultant force, we need to find, we need to add all my forces in the x direction and all my forces in the y direction. So if we start with the x direction, so what do we have? I got a negative that this force is doing in the x direction. How much is doing? 12 out of 13 of 455, but it's in the negative direction, okay? So we got negative. And then we have a positive that this 600 newtons is going to the right and it's being defined by the angle which is going to be the cosine of my 60 degree angle okay if we add this up we use our calculator so we're gonna do the 12 over 13 multiplied by 455 that will give me 420 and then we do 600 cosine of 60 and that will give me 300 so we got negative 420 plus 300 that will give me a negative 120 so we got a negative 120 newtons going to the left okay so we're done with the sum of forces in the x now we're gonna do the same but the sum of forces in my y direction so i'll have positive going up on for my 455 and I have 5 out of 13 of these force so 455 and then we're going to do minus because this force is going down and it's going to be 600 sine of 60 degrees okay now if we do this let's check how we get so if we do 5 over 13 multiplied by 455, we get 175. And then if we do 600 sine of 60 degrees, we get 520. So we're going to do 175 minus 520, and that gives me negative 345. So we're going down 340. Five newtons. See if we round it up, okay? Now we want to do our resultant force is going to be equal to. So the magnitude is going to be equal to the square root of these two guys squared. So we'll have 120 squared plus 345 squared, okay? Now what is this equal to? So there you go, second square root of 120 squared plus 345 squared, and that gives me 365 newtons. So the magnitude is equal to 365 newtons. Now, what is the direction? So, well, its direction theta is going to be equal to the inverse of my tangent. And then we do opposite, so the opposite will be the y, which is equal to 345 newtons, divided by my 120 newtons. Okay, and let's check what this one is. So we're going to go inverse tangent of uh, 345 divided by 120 and this gives me 70.8 degrees. So this is my angle theta, okay? This is with respect to the extra, the x plane. Now, we also need to find the moment. So we're gonna find the sum of your forces of moment around my point O, okay? Now, we need to decompose these two forces again into x and y directions. In, in the y direction for this guy is going up, but the distance between the force going up 
and my moment and my point O is zero. So I, I don't have to take that one in count, but I'll have to take in count my force going to the left. Okay, so how much am I going to the left? Well, I'm going 12 out of 13 multiplied by 455. Now, what is the distance? Because moment is force times distance. So the distance is two meters. Okay, now what's the direction? If we were to hold this point at O and we were to pull it from here like this to the left, my system will, count, will rotate counterclockwise. So I'm gonna define counterclockwise as positive, okay? So we're done with our first force. What about our second force? So we'll have my X component going that way. So let's check. So we will have plus because if we hold this and we rotate the system pushing it like this from this side it will go counterclockwise okay so positive and the force which is going to be 600 multiplied by the cosine of 60 degrees multiplied by the distance so what is the distance from here to there is 0 0.75 meters so We'll multiply this by 0 0.75 meters. Now, all I'm left is with my y component of these 600 newtons. And if we call from here and we were to pull this system down like this, it will also go counterclockwise, okay? So we'll do plus, and then we'll do the force, the magnitude of that force going in the y direction, which is 600 sine of 60 degrees multiplied by the distance which is 2.5 meters okay if we use our calculator let's check this guy out so the first one is 12 out of 13 multiplied by 455 and also multiplied by 2 plus 600 cosine of 60 degrees multiply by 0 0.75 plus 600 sine of 60 degrees multiply by 2.5 and this is equal to 2,364 newtons per meter and all the guys are going counterclockwise so that's my direction okay so we found our resultant force in the magnitude, also into its X and Y components, and we found its direction in angle. We also find the moment around my point. So if I were to draw my force, it will look something like this. It will go, so it, it will go like this. In this direction and it's even bigger than that let's make ourselves room over here so it will be 365 newtons okay and its angle between here is theta we will define that 70.8 and we will also have a moment around my point O that is going to be my moment O that it has a magnitude of 2364. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions or any comments, just post it down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.